Today we're gonna take a look at how to install the Xbox 360 controller for Mac. Um, if we... I just found a page here, it was just simple Google and they linked me to this site, uh, main GitHub project. So if we open that we get to thing here, um, latest GitHub page. So you can see that we can download a program from here, Xbox 360 controller install and then we download this file and I currently have the latest Mac OX I believe not exactly sure which version but uh, anyway, download that file, it's super small so it's super fast um, let's click on the file and um, double click Continue, continue, agree, um, install, enter your password. Uh, it just notifies you that you will need to restart your computer. Um, so, okay. And it's also free and everything, so it's super good to have. Just validating, restart. So I will be back. So the computer has now restarted. Um, if you have a wireless control, you can read this article on how to do that, but it's more or less the same procedure, I think. So let's open up settings. We can find Xbox 360 controllers. And my controller is now lighting, and if I turn, you can see that the stick is turning here as well. Uh, you can see that all buttons seem to connect. So, yep. That's really really nice and advanced I think you can um, invert things, uh, you can have dead zones so until you pass this portion it's not really going to happen anything. Uh, yep so that's about it. Um, let's close system preferences and open MX Simulator that I have here and let's see I'm just gonna set it up so this is something of what it used to look like so this is what it used to look like um, but now you can see um, that is right trigger, this is front right bumper, left trigger, uh, joys the left joystick to the left, to right, left bumper, B, X, A, Y, uh, left stick up and left stick down, and P. Uh, that's my start button on uh, on the controller. So if we open up just something like Allcrest, you should be able to see that the controller works just fine, and the triggers works too. That's the best part. So if we lean forward, you can see that we can lean a little bit more, go back, so a little bit backward, more backward, more. You can see the throttle. Yes, might be loud, but I'm just you can see. So that is how to get your controller to work on a Mac. It's super simple, and uh, yeah, that's it. The program that I used was free, so no need to spend any money. There are ones that you can spend money on, I found out, um, let's see, App Store, what was it called, uh, Control. Uh, Joystick Mapper, um, I read another article and this one, if you want to pay for things, this one seems to work as well. I think this one is working with DualShock, PlayStation 4 controllers and stuff as well. So um, 
if you have a PlayStation controller, you might want to look into buying this. Um, I have not tried it, it just seemed to perhaps be working. So, yep. If you want to buy this one, definitely do your research and look what other people say, but this could potentially be um, an option for you. I hope you could enjoy the game and I'll see you next time.